you come up with a slogan for the peaches? No, but look what I found outside the den door with this note. My host you were for a time today. I leave these shoes my debt to pay. From the leprechaun. Yeah, how about that? Well, wh why would he leave you a gift when we practically threw him out of here? No, well, maybe it's his way of apologizing for bugging us. Fit like a glove. You better get to work. Larry will be back soon. Who cares? But you said you hadn't finished. So what? I slaved enough this weekend. Uh, I pooped. I think I'll take a nap. <laughs> it's those shoes. That <laughs> sneaky leprechaun put a hex on them. Now, why blame the leprechaun just because I finally got some sense and refused to knock myself out? Darren, I want you to take off those shoes. Uh, that's Larry. I'll get it. Well, wait a minute. Maybe it'd be better if I talk to him. <laughs> what for? But because I, I don't think you're in the right frame of mind. The only thing wrong with my frame of mind is that I didn't get it years ago. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Good to see you. Well, that hearty greeting can mean only one thing. You got the slogan right. Wrong. <laughs> you're not finished? No. And I'll tell you something else. I'm not going to finish tonight. Anybody home? Yes, sweetheart. We're in the kitchen. Uh, Darren, dear, this is Brian O'Brien. Well, well, Darren, my boy, I've been looking forward to this moment that I have. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a man for his grand. Just grab. <laughs> Brian is a leprechaun. A leprechaun? Uh, yes, of course. May I speak to you for a minute, dear? He just got over from Ireland. How about that? <laughs> a slice said Samantha is grand. Uh, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, would you excuse me a minute, Brian? Dear lady, I'll excuse you anything. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Samantha, it's your husband and the head of his house. I mean, it's no more than common courtesy that you forewarned me. I know, dear. Now, I've put up with elves, warlocks, and poltergeists. But this leprechaun relative of yours is just too much. Darren, he's not a relative of mine. Relative, friend of the family, it's all the same thing. He's not a friend of my family. He's not? No. He's a friend of your family. <laughs> What's the matter? Saints preserve us, it's gone. Brian. But it was here, I know it was here. Darren's right, you are a bungler. But Samantha. You probably lost that the same way you lost all the others. <laughs> Oh, I swear it was here when the fireplace was moved. It was my last pot, Samantha. My security against the old age. How dare you involve me in this wild goose chase? Ah, now we are going back, and you are going on your way. No, I tell you, it was right in this hole behind the stone. Good evening. Is this what you're looking for? That's it, it's me crock. Let me correct you. It is not your crock, it's me crock. I don't know how you got out of that jail, but I do know how you're going to get in again. And this time you're going to have some very pleasant company. Mr. Robinson, I know this may all seem very strange to you, but... Not at all. Why, it happens every night. <laughs> you know, the police are going to get very tired of my waking them up in the middle of the night. Mr. Robinson, Mr. O'Brien here is from Ireland. And he had hidden that pot in the fireplace before you bought it.
sliced or halves, everything's peachy when you buy Barber peaches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're picky, pick your peaches out of a Barber can. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Can you stop for a minute? Yeah, believe me, I need a break. What is it? It's Tabitha in the new playhouse. You have to see this. Come on. Here's your cup of sugar, Mrs. Kravitz. I'd ask you to come in, but I have company. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Kravitz. Isn't that cute? What does she mean, company? Well, you know. Imaginary playmates. All children make up someone to play with. Yeah, but... Shh. Hi, sweetheart. Where are you going? To get some drinks for my company. Mr. Jones wants a martini and Mrs. Jones wants a ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jones is a teetotaler. She is? Then I better get her some tea. <laughs> Hurry up. You don't seem to be amused. Oh, Sam, what if there really is a tiny Mr. and Mrs. Jones in there? Oh, Darren, don't be silly. She's just behaving like any normal six-year-old. No, I just want to make sure she isn't behaving like any normal six-year-old witch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Can I have a taste of that martini? You want Mr. Jones to drink off the same glass as you? <laughs> Oops. Lost my head. I wish you and I would find something to do while I'm entertaining. <laughs> Daddy does have something to do. I promised Larry I'd uh, have a slogan for Barbara's peaches by early this afternoon. I'd better get back on it. No, I'd better see if Adam's awake. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your lunch, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. And I'm sorry I burned the meat. Oh, you'd like some more, Mr. Jones? There you are. It's a pleasure to serve a man with a hearty appetite. <clears throat> How do you do? How do you do? Not meaning to trouble you, lass, but I couldn't help all for here and and I was wondering if you could spare a morsel for a poor, hungry creature. We don't have any morsels, but we have some roast beef. It's a little burned. Burnt, is it, eh? Just the way my mother used to make it. <laughs> a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Tim O'Shanter's the name. How do you do? This is Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Oh, well, how do you do, Mr. Jones? No, that's Mrs. Jones. <laughs> Excuse me. And what might your name be? Tabitha. Would you be after getting me a bit of food? It's fairly starving I am. Help yourself. There's nothing there. <laughs> there he is. No, there's not. You eat what's in front of you, or else you don't eat at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you've got a delightful sense of humor, me darling. And now that we've had our little laugh, would you be after getting me some real food, you little sweetheart? I'll see what I can find. <laughs> a darling girl. A darling girl. Weird, but, uh, darling. <laughs> Will you stop stalling and stop doing your thing? What do you think I brought you here for? Oh, that I will, oh, gracious queen. I'm not your queen. And get up off your knees. <laughs> you see, it's just that I'm in need of a bit of sustenance. And it's terrible hard to work on an empty stomach. You'll find it even harder if I turn you into a toadstool. <laughs> now get going. 